And now something a little different for you, these three little fellows here. The idea came from a stately home in England that I was an artist residence at, which was Burton Agnes Hall in Yorkshire. And uh, these used to cause a lot of interest in the gardens. They did some bigger ones of a full set of geese. I thought it would be rather nice to make some for my own garden here. Um, and now I've just had a commission to do another one for a lady in France. So while I'm doing it I thought I'd just show you because you might like to make some for your own garden. It's not hard to do, uh, you've got to have the materials. It's a bit hard on the fingers maybe. Um, but let me uh, explain whilst I make this one, so that you can make a few for your garden maybe. They're quite effective as you can see. Well I have a lovely spot to sit in the garden here and do this. I put this bench here six years ago. I put my little veg garden in the front. So I'll be able to sit here in the future and just enjoy the view privately. So let's start off with what tools and materials we're going to need. Very simple, just maybe two pairs of pliers, the blunt nose and a pointed pair. I also use a pair of sacketeers for cutting the chicken wire. Then of course you're going to want some fairly heavy wire, such as this, for making the main armature of the, of the ducks or the geese. And if you're a hunter you could even make these not just as a, an ornament for the garden, but you could cover them in plastic or paper mache and spray them if you go goose hunting. Right. Other than that, all you're going to want is some chicken wire. Half inch is the best. This is a one inch, so it's all I've got in the garden at the moment. It'll have to do, but half inch gives a much better uh, illusion of the, the body form. Right, I normally start at the head, and here you can see I've already made the head form. And we simply build a, uh, a framework, a structure, to support the chicken wire afterwards. So I've made the head, bent that bit round. Now I'm going to make almost a silhouette of a goose. So we're going to come down, get the form of the neck, how long the neck's going to be, maybe about that long, it's quite a big bird this one. I reckon it's going to take me about four or five hours to complete it, so I've got to be charging 10 euros an hour, um, so we've got to look at using, for, say, say, we've got to look at say, 50 euros for a bird like this at a minimum, so they aren't cheap to make, and that's no pun, and then the back Coming down to its tail, got to be able to just visualise this form. And round for the tail, come back again, underneath for the rear and body of the bird. As you can see we've almost got our goose there already. Hmm. I need to add a bit more wire onto here and continue that up, which I'll do in just a moment. What I'm actually going to do to make the stronger framework, a bit more breast on that, we'll bend that out a bit more for the, for the breast of the bird. So it's important we get the right shape now. There we go. And I'll bend that round there, back onto itself. So twist the wire around, making it as strong as you can all the time because this is the framework that's going to actually support the chicken wire later. And the stronger we can make this all the time, the better it's going to be later. Right here this time. I 
haven't finished that piece off there. <clears throat> Okay, so you can start to see now how <coughs> the wire is built around the framework as well. So we've got the silhouette and then we start to build the wire this way. I will also bring some wire around the outside that, that way. Well, I'll, carry on and t I'll turn the camera off now and just carry on with that and show you that when I've completed the basic framework. Okay, well here you can see I've made the main framework. There's the shape of the head and the whole body now formed. So our next part is to uh, make the legs, which is quite difficult because, as I say, they have to support the whole bird and have spikes at the bottom to be able to put into the ground. Well, there we are with the finished framework and the tail. Now we've got four strands down to the feet here. Um, it should give it enough strength because if I hold it by that look, the bird will support itself. Those go into the ground and then the legs come up with uh, lots of strengthening cross supports there and the whole bird is complete right down to its head, which I hope you can see, right down to its head, there we go, up its neck, round to the body and the legs. You can see how it's constructed. Now all I have to do is cover it in the chicken wire, which is easier said than done. Yeah, I've put my goose into position that it will stand now, you can see it looks quite effective. <coughs> I have to cover it in wire, so I've got to get my tin snips, I've got to get my uh, clippers now and slice off some sections of wire to wrap around it time consuming but it's still that the easiest way to do it. And we've cut our pieces of wire to size and start to wrap them around the bird now. All right round, fold them all around the form. It doesn't matter if you overlap or fold it up. Try and twist the ends of the wire around the framework to hold it on from the very start. There we are, our piece is finished, but we've got to paint it now because the best paint for this one is a red uh, iron oxide um, paint. And spray it on with a, a spray. So I'm going to finish off with some red oxide paint to spray it on. Mix up my own, here's a little hand spray. Cheaper this way. <coughs> and this will show up nicely from a distance. And voila, we have our finished goose. Now of course this is the same as an armature, if you were a sculptor you could cover this in hessian or plaster or cement as an outdoor ornament and work it up. Here we are, the finished piece, now I put it with the other ducks and it's quite fun isn't it? <laughs>